Welcome back guys to the Desert Aquarium. The last time that we were here, we saw the introduction of the tortoise hybrid snail, kind of looking like a Red Racer Nerite snail added to the tank somehow, miraculously, via probably some kind of gene splicing experiment by the aliens in the aquarium that landed about a month ago. Okay, now, there's something new being created and added to this aquarium. I came out to the tank this morning and this is what I found, guys. Some kind of growth chamber. I mean, I'm trying not to touch these too much because I don't want to disrupt anything, but these two little chambers are filled with something. Something that looks like a snake. Okay, these two are black. And these three over here, let's see if we can get a focus on them. These three have stripes down the middle, but they only go halfway. They're, it, it's like they're half striped. They kind of look like coolie loaches. I, I don't know. Both of them kind of look like coolie loaches to me. What do you guys think? Um, but I, I think this is an attempt to create snakes in the desert. You guys are familiar that the deserts all around the world have snakes. And I think this is the alien's attempt at creating a snake-like creature. Dare I say rattlesnake? I don't know. Um, I, haven't, I haven't put my ear up to the tank to hear if they have a rattle. But I'm not touching these bags, okay? I'm gonna let them do their thing. I'm gonna see what happens. I don't know if these are gonna hatch, if these organisms need to develop more. Uh, I also have no idea how this little gray alien over here was able to create these. I don't know what he's been doing in this tank to make this happen, but I guess they're gonna be in here soon, maybe. Or who knows, I, I I don't know. There's also these three crystals down at the bottom of the tank, guys. And uh, you probably saw in the intro the laser that this alien is shooting down into the tank. He's often hitting these three crystals. He's dragging the laser around, he's, he's investigating some other things, maybe. I, I'm not really sure. Uh, but he does have a lot of his attention pointed at these three crystals. And I don't know what this has to do. Maybe it has something to do with sending a signal back up to the home planet that this guy's from. I, I, I just, I don't know. I'm only an observer of what is happening in this tank, guys, in Area 52, as we have recently renamed this tank. All right, so the coolie loaches, I mean the rattlesnakes, have been in the tank for a few days now, and they're really fun to watch, guys. The three half-striped ones spend a lot of their time over here in the corner, and they just go crazy, okay, a lot of the time. Now, they do hide out quite a bit. That's kind of like their MO, and the two larger black coolie loaches spend most of their time down in the little cave system that I have built over here. I didn't do that intentionally. That's just what ended up happening, and sure enough, the coolie loaches found it, so they're gonna make use of that. Um, they don't wanna be out in the open all the time, super bright lights is not really great for them, so they wanna have a lot of hiding places, and there is a lot of hiding places over here on the right side, but they don't seem to spend too much time over there for some reason. These guys are super sporadic and they're hard to get on this camera, but I'll overlay a bunch of footage that I got um, yesterday of them in different places around the tank and doing different things. Of course, guys, these coolie loaches did not come from the aliens, okay? I know some of you guys were getting on me in the last video for being super cringy, and I agree with you, but I'm just, I'm having a lot of fun out here, so we're gonna roll with it. But to get serious and to provide actually some information here, these are two different types of coolie loaches that I got from my local local fish store. The smaller coolie loaches, the three that have sort of like a half band, they don't look like the traditional or regular coolie loaches if you even want to call them that. Um, my local fish store owner told me that these were a little bit more rare and so we're just calling them 
like half striped coolie loaches, but there's gotta be somebody out there that's an expert on these guys. So if you know what these really are called, the common name, let me know down in the comments. We also have the two black coolie loaches, which are a little bit larger than the other three, and they're not completely black. I'd say they're a little bit more brown than they are black, but they still match the theme. They still look good, you know, next to the the scorpions down here, the black rose neos, and I think they just fit the theme perfectly. A good rattlesnake, right? You guys called this from a mile away though. Like down in the comments section, you guys you guys know my whole plan, I feel like. I don't know how you do it, but you guys know. So yes, we finally got the rattlesnakes and they are coolie loaches. I saw it so many times in the comments, so many times. I, you know, good job guys, you're, you're on top of it. Coolie loaches can get fairly long, I won't say big, but they can get long, they should be fine for this tank, and for the amount of time that they will be in it, we shouldn't have any problems. I mean, if all of these were full grown coolies, then I might wanna reconsider what tank I'm putting them in, but here's a here's one of the black ones, poking his head out here in the back. What's up, buddy? He's thinking about coming out. Let's see if we can get a shot of him on the side, there he is. So you can see the size difference, they're a little bit bigger, oh, here he goes. And right back he goes. Well, let's see see if we can track him here. So he's checking out the substrate, looking for food. And not paying too much attention to the shrimp. He kind of just lets them do their thing. And the uh, the two species or you know subspecies or whatever, the two color forms will interact with each other. They hang out in the same caves. They're all a bunch of friends. Scavenging down there, doing his thing. I haven't really noticed the two black coolie loaches, sorry, rattlesnakes, guys. God, I need to get better at that. I haven't seen the two black ones doing a lot of big swimming like these little guys. So I don't really know what the deal is with that. I don't know if these guys are like stressed out because they don't feel comfortable hiding back in here. I don't know, I'm still learning what these guys, what these guys are into. But the, the two black coolies, definitely like to spend most of their time hiding in here. The half striped ones do go in here though and spend time with them, so I don't really know what the deal is. I can't say that they're like scared of them. And like I'd mentioned before, there's still a lot of nice dark real estate and some caves over here on the right side, but none of them are spending too much time over there. I have seen one of the black rattlesnakes over here spending some time, but I also can't really see as much over here. So if they are over here, I can't really see them, which is kind of nice about when they're over here, is that I have two little viewing angles and I can keep tabs on them. They're gonna eat pretty much just what I feed the shrimp. So I'm not gonna be adding any special food for them, just sinking food. They're gonna come out and take advantage of that over here where I usually feed the shrimp and I've already seen some activity of them coming to feast on some pellets that end up down there. And so far I haven't seen any aggressive behavior towards the shrimp. Now I'm obviously not watching this tank 24 seven, um, but keeping coolie loaches, especially ones these size with juvenile and adult shrimp, not gonna be a problem. It's just those really tiny, tiny baby shrimplets that the coolies could take advantage of and they could eat. So that's kind of the case with pretty much any fish, as long as it can fit a baby shrimplet in its mouth, it's fair game. And so we're just taking that risk in this aquarium. I have so many shrimp running around this thing that you know losing a few babies here and there isn't gonna be a huge deal. And yes, I still do need to cull this tank. You can see those Bloody Marys over here on the right, and there are more and more blue shrimp I'm seeing in this tank, so I need to get on it, I need to do it. Uh, we just need to set up a tank for it, so I have an idea for that. I'm doing some stuff over in the living room, and hopefully we'll get to that very soon. Everything in the desert tank is just flourishing and doing really, really good. I actually just did a water change here. You can see all of the spaceships, okay, the water lettuce has just totally taken over the back of the tank. These are really small plants, and so I'm just kind of leaving them. I think it looks cool having those long roots down in the background, and of course I did take out some of the larger ones, and I put them out in the pond. You guys saw that video. Um, I think it was the most recent video I uploaded. So um, that's where those are going, and that's where these will go eventually once we kind of 
close out our saga here, but I might leave them too, because again, I don't, I don't hate the look of that. I don't know, let me know what you think down in the comments. I've had to trim more and more of the pogo stamen. This plant is just gonna get out of control. So did a big trim the other day on top of the trim that we did, of course, in the last Desert Tank update video, but this stuff is, I mean, it's just gonna keep growing and growing and growing, so I'm really gonna have to get in there with the scissors and just hack it all the way back, pretty much, if I wanna maintain the look that I have in this tank, which I still do like. A lot of you guys um, aren't liking the, the excess vegetation. I mean, I wouldn't even call it excess for a normal tank, but because it's a desert aquarium, this is kind of maybe a little bit of excess green, but I don't know. I. I'm not hating it at all. So we're gonna keep doing it. The cactuses, you know, the moss grows really, really slow. We're still um, working off that initial trim that I did in that last video and things are still looking pretty good. Let's back up for a second though, guys. So besides the aliens in this tank, what do we have? We have scorpions, the black rose neo shrimp. We have tarantulas, the Thai micro crabs, which are still pretty much MIA. I see them every once in a while when I do a water change, but they're so tiny and they hide so well, it's almost like they're not there, but they are in there, okay? Three, what's number three? We have tortoises, okay? We have the red racer nearite snails. And now four, we have rattlesnakes. We have the coolie loaches, the two different types. So is there gonna be a fifth thing showing up? What's, a, what's like the last thing you can think of would be in a desert or would be part of a desert ecosystem, all right? We have a lot of scavengers. We have some main predators, I guess. If you count a snake as a main predator, what's kind of like the last thing that you can think of that would make sense for a desert aquarium? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button for me if you like the desert tank and also hit the notification bell so you know when I upload the next video. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. We will see you next time.